I seamed this dustland cowl together, and you can't even see where it happened. I did it right here, and you can't even see. So it's an invisible way of weaving in or of sewing your fabric together, looking at the right side. So before you do the mattress stitch, if you have a long distance to go to sew your fabric together, it helps to place a split ring marker every so often so that you don't get a skewed fabric where you accidentally miss some stitches and it gets really biased and slanted. We don't want that. So this helps secure. So by the time you reach this marker, you should be good to go and you're not get racing earlier on one side of the edge than the other. I'm going to seam this cowl with a half twist for a little Mobius. So I'm just going to twist the fabric like so. So this is how I'm going to seam this cowl. But whatever you're doing, whatever edge you're seaming together, place a few stitch markers. And uh, whenever you weave or sew the mattress stitch, you need a long tail of yarn. I think it's good to have at least two or three times the circumference or the length of your edges. So this is about, this is a long, that's my circumference. So I'm going to do triple that just to be safe and then a little extra. So I know I have enough yarn to do my mattress stitch if I have triple the length. That's more than enough. Okay, so looking at the right side, you just go into one stitch on the right side. I'm going to go through both legs of a stitch and pull the yarn through on the right side. And then the mirroring stitch I'm going to pull through looking at the right side. So the direction of your tapestry needle is going this way. We're going to go in the fabric and then in the fabric this way. And then the next stitch. So your tapestry needle is pointing like this in to both legs of a stitch. So get that next stitch right there, pull it through. And don't, you don't have to pull too, too tight. So I pull kind of tight, but I leave a little bit of wiggle room because I don't want the fabric to be too cinched. So here's the yarn. Ooh, oh, that's enough, not too tight. So if you go into every stitch, going into both legs of the stitch, so right on top of the fabric, that's the cast on edge, right on top of one single stitch. This is going to be really detailed going into every single stitch. This can take a really long time if you have a really long edge to seam. So you could also go through two stitches. So here's one and there's two. So that works as well. And that's twice as fast. So this would be one, but this is two. So that works just fine. I'm going to do that for this cowl. I'm going to go through two stitches each time. And this is where it helps. It's Sometimes it's a little tricky to see, like, oh, is that really two stitches or three? Just pull it through. But that's where the stitch markers come in handy. By the time you reach the stitch marker, you should go into here and there. You shouldn't be going into here and then over there. That's a diagonal. That's going to or mess up the fabric a little bit. So those stitch markers come in handy. If you're a little bit nervous with your first mattress stitch, then place more stitch markers to help you keep on track more frequently. But keep on going. That's all there is to it, to do the mattress stitch. You can choose to go through one or go through two stitches. And at the end, if it feels like it's a little loose, then you can just pull on the yarn. And the magic part about mattress stitch is if you pull on the yarn, it should get tight along that edge. And if the fabric feels too tight as you're doing the seaming, then loosen up, okay? Tight isn't perfect, tight is just tight. So give it a little bit of wiggle room as you do the mattress stitch. Pull it through. Not super tight, just have it be a little flexible. Ideally, you want that mattress stitch edge to feel as flexible as your knitted fabric. 
maybe a little less flexible because yeah, it is being seamed, but you don't want it to feel so tight and then your fabric is so loose and drapey. So again, here's the finished mattress stitch. You can't even tell that I did it because it was so, oh no, here it is. <laughs> can't even tell here. It feels a little bit thicker, but look at that. It's a beautiful seamless join looking at the right side, matching the mirroring stitches together all the way around or all the way across your fabric. If you liked this mattress stitch tutorial, then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and there's a lot of other fun technique tutorials and I'll keep them coming throughout the year. So I hope to see you in the next video.